This is Winnie TV, the alternative wine media packed with broken English and a passion for wine. And today we're talking about Kiwi wines, so welcome. Thank you. So your first time in Helsinki, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's the first time I've been here and it's a beautiful place. It's a little bit like New Zealand with a fresh environment and the people that love getting out and enjoying it. So fresh and cold climate. Bloody cold, yeah. Yeah, bloody cold, that's yeah, correct. Yeah. Yeah. So how are things in Kiviland at the moment? Vintage 2010? Yeah, it is um, starting to heat up. Everyone is getting their their board shorts on and their bikinis and starting to head to the beach. So, yeah, you get the summer. Yeah, it is, uh, it's a beautiful place to be in New Zealand and uh, we're, we're really focusing on making the best wines and delivering them to the world and making a real impression on the world for wine and uh, I think it's quite exciting to be part of that. So what makes Wild Rock different from uh, competitors? Mm, Wild Rock is uh, an expression of fun with wine. I think it is uh, using the prestige background of Craggy Range which is uh, the family vineyard that uh, we belong to. Uh, it is a brand within that house. Uh, the Craggy Range is the single vineyard big brother. I like to say the serious big brother, and we're the kind of fun little brother, you know, so we tend to uh, enjoy the, the outdoors with our wine, and so we sponsor Surf Aid International, which is a humanitarian development organization, and they look after people in the Sumatran Islands in Indonesia, where they have uh, been in injured and things from the tsunami and earthquake, and so we donate to them. We do fun things with that, though. We go and join up with Billabong and do the surfing competitions in Hawaii. Billabong's the clothing company? Yeah, Billabong is a surf clothing company that donate to Surf Aid, and so okay. together we brand partner and go to... Hawaii and go to watch the best surfing in the world. Well, sounds terrible. It is terrible. My workmates hate me. Yeah, they, <laughs> so, yeah. Ash, are, are, are you responsible for the names of the wines? Yeah, we, um, we come up, you? not me personally. Uh, I've just Because we need an explanation. Here. Yeah. There's uh, one wine that is labeled Angel Dust. Yeah. Yep, that is a, a good name and it, uh, well deserved, but you don't, um, you treat it with respect. It's, yep. uh, it is a beautiful uh, Syrah and it's from the Hawke's Bay region, which is... It's a beautiful wine. Yeah, thanks. You tried and liked. Yep. Yeah. It's really, really actually a cool climate. You yeah. know? There are a lot of places in Southern Hemisphere that talk about cool climate Cyrus, yeah. but this is actually a cool climate, yeah. more close to like Northern Rhone style. Yeah, absolutely. It brings the aromatic notes from the, the varietal beautifully and it gives you a little bit of white pepper instead of charcoal or black pepper you know all ground up and, and hitting you with a big bang you know it's a lovely soft entry with that white pepper black flesh plum and then a nice floral lift to it which is a sort of blue flower violets and lavender and I think it's um, easy to finish the whole bottle you know very addictive and well, that's that's good that's yeah. always good yeah. but what, what would be your favorite uh, wine in the whole range uh, my favorite is the uh, Cupid's Arrow Pinot Noir It's the god of love and, uh, you know, one shot and you are hooked with us. <laughs> it, it's a stunner. And, it, you know, the reason why, it's a, down in the bottom of New Zealand, it is the most beautiful scenery. Have you seen Lord of the Rings? Well, it's filmed right near the vineyard. And so it is, yeah, we have little guys with big ears picking the grapes. <laughs> But it, um, seriously, it is schist and limestone down there, and it is um, lovely soft chalky tannins as a result, and it's hand-picked, um, so hand-harvested from this side of the mountains that is beautiful to see. It's a glacial run below it, so, and a river and a lake that is all glacial, so it's very milky blue, and uh, it's the most picturesque place on earth. And in the I'll take your word for it. Yeah, well, I think you've got to try some more of this, because in the middle, you taste the herb, and it's amazing. The middle of the palate, I'm speaking. You know, once you taste this wine, you notice that it has a little bit of wild herb, dried thyme coming through, and that's because it grows in the vineyard. It's an amazing thing. You know, so, Ash, if one thing people should know about uh, New Zealand wines, what would that be? Uh, what's your take on that? Fresh, vibrant fruits. You know, I think that New Zealand is, is renowned for producing exciting, vibrant fruits that we don't mask. We don't hide with our oak and, and lots of other techniques. We tend to let them express themselves and be zingy and racy and enjoyable, but with the complexities that the old world has. So I think it's a, quite an exciting proposition to, to see this new country come up with such beautiful, vibrant fruits, but with the complexities of old world. There you have it. So we keep on drinking your wines and uh, see you next time. Cheers. Cheers. And thanks. Thank you.